this is a very short and quick update about a new GPT-5 leak that I just got to know. GPT-5 is not going to be a single model. OpenAI is going to announce a flurry of models from GPT-5, GPT-5 Mini, GPT-5 Nano and GPT-5 Chat. In this video, I'm going to share everything that I know about it. So GPT-5 is going to get launched today or tonight, wherever you live. We all thought like it's going to be like one model alone, but it seems like OpenAI is going to launch four different models. And uh, this has been confirmed by a GitHub page that was leaked on archive right now it is on archive which is like it stores internet history but ideally this was a page that was live but being taken down now so the post says gpt5 is generally available ga in github models if you're not sure about github models it's like hugging face but from github so it says gpt5 is open as most advanced model offering major improvements in reasoning code quality and user experience it handles complex tasks coding tasks with minimal prompting provides clear explanations and introduces enhanced agentic capabilities, making it a powerful coding collaborator and intelligent assistant for all users. It seems like the primary objective with GPT-5 is coding and agentic capabilities. Seems like we are moving away from simple chat bot, like a chat mechanism to use LLMs. It seems like everybody has realized that we are under using LLMs as chat bots and we have to start leveraging their true potential, which is very evident with what Claude Code has been doing. Claude Code is a super hit. Everybody loves it, except the poor infrastructure that Anthropic has got. Claude Code with Claude Max is like an amazing, amazing tool if you're like a coder who can use external AI editing tools, AI assistant tools. So the same route, it seems like opening is following. If you're going to watch their announcement, there is a benchmark that you have to pay attention. It's called Tau, T-A-U. Sounds like a Chinese name, but it's a benchmark to test the agentic capabilities of these models. The following model variants of GPT-5 are available. This is like going to be in the future. GPT-5, GPT-5 Mini, GPT-5 Nano, GPT-5 Chat. Chat is the easiest to understand. Designed for advanced, natural, multimodal, context-aware conversations for enterprise application. I don't know why they are saying enterprise application. Could it be like this is only available for GPT, uh, chat GPT teams um, because that is what their enterprise target is. Not the pro users, not the plus users, only for teams. Or it also could be like their enterprise offering where they're trying to uh, fine tune the existing model and then deploy it on-prem. So don't know what they're planning to do there, but uh, GPT-5 chat is just purely chat, not much. GPT-5 Nano optimized for speed and ideal for applications requiring low latency. This could be, this could be either Horizon Alpha, Horizon Beta that we tested a couple of days back on this channel, or it could be GPT-5 Mini, but it is probably one of these two models that Horizon Beta or Horizon Alpha is either GPT-5 Mini or GPT-5 Nano. That's what I feel. So GPT-5 Nano also would be interesting to see if you can run on phone. I don't think OpenAI is going to open source another open model but uh but because that's just like did it a couple of days back but gpt5 nano the nano series on gemini is what google has said that they want to deploy it on phones so open ai is releasing nano i guess this is purely an, another endpoint where people can just go ahead it if they want like very very fast response but gpt5 nano optimized for speed gpt5 mini just like every other version of there was GPT-4 and 4 mini, 4.0, 4.0 mini and the same way I think they've got GPT-5 mini which is the lighter version of GPT-5, a lightweight version of cost for cost sensitive applications. So GPT-5 is going to be expensive. I think GPT-5 mini would be in the existing range of uh, developer application uh, tools, uh, the API cost and GPT-5 is designed for logic and multi-step tasks. I think GPT-5 is heavily, heavily optimized for agentic use cases. We also saw a similar thing with GPT versus a lot of people after doing initial tests, they felt that this is a good coding model, but this seems to be a very poor taste model. Like it doesn't have good taste, good creativity. So maybe OpenAI is also going in the same direction like Claude, the Anthropic, uh, where they're heavily optimizing these models to be programmers so that you can have good agentic capabilities, browser automation, all sort of thing that you want to do. And programmers are like the primary audience of these models, like other than normal human beings who are chatting with this. Either way, I'm planning to bring in fresh hot news once that is available. Stay tuned on the channel. Until then, see you next time. Happy prompting.